Hey, Coach, a year ago, we were here asking you what Dante and Jameer meant to the program and the things that they were here with you the first year. How important and, and what has it meant to you to have them back for this second year and to be able to talk about them in another senior day? Yeah, it, it, I think uh, Jameer and Dante have been, you know, instrumental in, in helping lay down, you know, the groundwork that we've been trying to do, um, their hard work. Um, the fact that they bring it every day and they compete every day um, has really been good for, you know, all the young guys that we brought in. And how hard is that for a player to kind of be selfless in a way? Because what they're doing is not only trying to take their game up in their notch, but like you say, they're bringing along the future players that are going to follow in their footsteps. Well, it's kind of, you know, it's, you, would, you would think that's it's part of what you want senior guys to be able to do kind of part of their job a little bit is to be responsible for the guys because at some point someone older was taking care of them you know so it's like passing it on a little bit and I think that's something that both these guys have done a really good job of is um, you know trying to help the young guys understand what college basketball is all about, all about especially since they've been in it for five years. And are those the guys from also where you've coached from before that you remember I mean you remember a lot of different things but when you think back to the, the type of roles that players like that played for you as a coach? Yeah, I, you know, it's, it's – I've had a good – you know, it's – you have a relationship with all your guys. So, I mean, um, I think I think every senior that's played for you um, at some point has done something for your program that you remember. As you get towards the end of the season in the Big Ten tournament, what have you liked about the progression of this team? I, I really think, you know, from a defensive standpoint, you know, we, we have become a really, really good defensive team, uh, much better than I thought we were going to be able to at the beginning of the year, uh, just from the standpoint of adding some, some young guys. Uh, I think the young guys have done, for the most part, a, a really, really good job in understanding our defense and progressing in it. And does this team remind you of any of your, your teams at Iona or Seton Hall? I, I don't know. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, Coach, thinking about uh, Jameer, obviously one of the first players you've brought in since getting here, what kind of impact has he had on the program as you've sort of uh, maybe set the foundation of what you want this program to be? No, I, th I think Jameer has been I, – I, he couldn't ask any more from, from, you know, one of your first recruits that you get. Um, you know, I think he's – his work ethic is unbelievable. He's a terrific teammate. Um, he's a great young man to be around. Um, I couldn't ask any more for what Jameer has, has given to this program. Yeah, and then uh, Deshaun has obviously played some of his best basketball on the offensive side as of late. Uh, is you, you know, going down the stretch, how do you think that adds another dynamic to the offense? As you sort of I mean, forward? it's, you know, it's he's playing with so much more confidence. It, it's, it's great to see, and that's the progression that you hope freshmen make. Um, I think it's taken all freshmen a little bit longer um, this year and just because of the COVID years and guys being so old. But um, it's just good to see him make that progression and be a little bit more aggressive driving to the basket. Um, I, think he's made, I think he's made really, really good progress. And do you think that progression is maybe even harder for a guy like him who has the ball in his hands a lot of the time? I, I think it's hard for, for every freshman right now. I, I do. I just think it's, it's a totally wacky world. Yeah, um, Coach, j jumping off what you said about the, the seniors laying the groundwork, do you feel like this team in general has helped lay the groundwork work for what you want to do going forward, even though there have been some frustrations, you know, with the record this season? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, you know, obviously it, it hasn't gone the way we wanted it to go, but um, how hard they've played, how well they've played defensively, the fact that we've We've been in every game we've played and had a chance to win every game. Uh, I think the competitive nature of this group has been really good. It's just, you know, some of our offensive struggles has kind of de derailed this season a little bit. But I think definitely the way they've competed has definitely laid a great found foundation. Yeah, Dante, someone who's been here for, for five years, having a guy that's had so much, so much experience at this school, what has he meant especially to the young guys on this team to help set that foundation like you've mentioned? I, I just think Dante's been a very good 
um, a very good example of a guy that shows up every day and works really hard, um, has success, um, stays even keeled the whole way. I think I think a lot of the younger guys, even last year, respect the fact that Dante he shows up every day, you know, and does it at a high level. Yeah, and then pivoting, Old Dominion uh, today announced officially that Mike Jones is going to be taking over their program. What has he meant in a short time here, and then what is it like, again, to have four members of your staff go on uh, to, to get jobs? No, we're, we're, we're ecstatic for Mike. Um, we really are. It's a, it's a great opportunity to go back to his alma mater, a uh, place where he played and had a lot of success. Um, Mike's a terrific person. Um, he's a great coach. He's going to do a f fantastic job. Um, you know, it. It's been it's been a it's been a, a crazy, I guess it's been eight months now. I've had four assistants hired in that in that time frame, but it's it's great. It's kind of what you want as a coach. It means you're hiring good people, um, and I think uh, Mike's going to do a fantastic job. Uh, going back to Dante, he just mentioned when he was in here before um, that you know not a lot of people stick around at the same program for five years. He did that. You know he could have left, but never did. Just how important in your eyes is it that you stuck around this whole time and what did that mean to the program and to you? Yeah, I, I mean, I think the University of Maryland has been very good for, for Dante. Um, and I think Dante's been really good for the University of Maryland. I think it, sometimes when guys don't leave, it's because it's, it's a good fit. And I think um, this program has been a good fit for Dante and Dante's been a great fit for this program. So um, it is rare um, that you see that anymore. But I think the big thing is... Um, it, it just shows you the, the character that Dante has. You know, he's, he's a guy that's, like I said, he brings it every day. He's loyal. He's hardworking. Um, he's just been a, he's been a great, great ambassador for this program. Um, just, just when you, you, you look at the remainder of the season, you know, beyond the obvious of wanting to keep playing as long, as long as you can, um, what do you still hope to get developmentally out of out of the remaining the remaining games? What will you what will you be looking for? I we're not we're not that far off. I I feel we can beat anybody. So there's no development. We're still trying to win every game. I mean that's our mindset. Um, you know, Northwestern. You know, unfortunately we just didn't play very well offensively, and Martinelli had a heck of a game. But we're not that far off. So um, we're still trying to win it every game and our folks has turned to the Big Ten tournament now. Thanks guys.